I was searching on Google for some French villages that I haven't been to and I found Chamonix. Went on YouTube to look at videos and not to offend anyone, but I didn't see one good video of Chamonix. So I decided to come here and make my own. So hopefully you guys will like it. So here we go. shadows of the French Alps sits the town of Chamonix. The Mont Blanc towers over the village and is the tallest mountain in Europe at over 15,700 feet. It's an alpine village of just under 9,000 souls. The scenery here is like something from a fairy tale and is now officially one of my all-time favorite places. Breathtakingly beautiful and snow-capped all year round, this is truly a winter wonderland. This is the main street and it has great shopping and restaurants. This town is absolutely beautiful. It's morning, there's a lot of fog, so you can't really see the mountains, but it is gorgeous. And the town is like a postcard. The only issue is I came right before the season starts and there's not enough snow for skiing. And a lot of stuff isn't open yet, like the cable car, the luge ride, and the glacier tunnel but it is still really beautiful. I'm so glad I came. So let's keep looking around. I stayed at the Chalet Hotel Priore, which is an amazing hotel in the perfect location. Come on in and check out my room. Awesome cozy bed with great pillows. Nice touch with those yummy local chocolates. Nice bathroom with a tub and plenty of room. I love the alpine look of the place. And did I mention I loved the chocolates? And of course, a balcony with a mountain view from every room. The breakfast buffet was actually pretty good. They had a wide variety of good choices and fresh squeezed orange juice and some really good local cheeses. And I loved the croissants, but it was a little too early for the camera for me. The town is full of great little boutiques as well as everything you ever want for skiing, snowboarding, or any kind of outdoor activities. Wait till you see this store. Voila! All kinds of gourmet food. This is my kind of store. I may have to buy a new suitcase to take home with me after I go into all these amazing shops. And of course, it's France, so it's lots of cheese and wine. Buying some charcuterie and cheese. This store is adorable. Look at me, by the way. All handmade. Very, very nice. I'm just, I don't have enough luggage to bring all this home. Because I want everything, literally. Everything. They even have a movie theater, and the movies are in English, so that's kind of cool. I think I'm going to stop here and get a glass of some wine, maybe some hot wine and some charcuterie. Everywhere here is so cute. How crazy is this? There's nobody here right now. It's so beautiful, I love it. There's nobody behind me and there's nobody in front of me. I'm here right before the Christmas season starts. I'm so happy and they turned on the Christmas decorations. Look at how beautiful those lights are, my favorite. Going to dinner, it's a hot stone restaurant which I've never been to where they cook the food on the hot stone so I'm excited to try it. Food looks really delicious. Regional, so we'll see. And they do it right at the table, which is kind of gimmicky usually, but I heard it's really good. So I will let you know. <laughs> In another week, the Christmas market opens, but I won't be here this time to see it, but I will one day. And I hear it's one of the best in France, but you can take a day trip from here to Annecy and they start their Christmas market in the end of November. 
and I hear it's really beautiful. And Annecy is amazing. I love Annecy. So I just went to the place that I was telling you guys about with the hot stone. Eh, changed my mind. So I'm gonna go to Le Manchu instead. It's right over here. And it's a nice regional restaurant. It's really pretty inside and the food's supposed to be great. So let's go. I'm hungry. So I guess I am having the hot stone because they do that here too. This place is so cute, look around. Not very busy tonight, but that's okay. It's busy in the other room. It's very noisy, so I'm glad I'm over here. I'm excited for this. I'm starting with some escargot and then some beef ribeye that we are gonna be cooking at the table. Wow, these are pretty big. Mmm. Tasty. I've eaten about 50 snails on this trip. And, oh, they're so good. They just bought the ribeye. It looks delicious. And here they come with the baked potatoes. Mmm. Yes. Yes, queen. Oh, we need some help. Thank you. The baked Merci. potatoes. And on the hot stone. Yes. You need to use salt, okay? Okay. For the meat, don't uh, stick to the hot stone, okay? And only salt, no pepper. Ah, okay? Yes. And enjoy. There's a lot of meat. This thing better stay hot the whole time. I'm telling you that. I absolutely love. It's really easy to overcook because it cooks so fast. So you got to be quick. The first round, I wasn't quick enough. And you want to move it around a little bit so it doesn't stick. It is delicious. I am so pleased. That's it. I am stuffed. I'm so full. I'm going to go to bed so happy. No dessert tonight. I'm going to get it to go because mama cannot eat another bite. Au revoir. So I decided to have dessert because I couldn't resist. This is ice cream with chestnut and whipped cream and meringue. And it just looks delicious. God. Let me just tell, let me just tell you guys, this whipped cream is so fluffy and good. It's like the best whipped cream I've ever had. And I, I'm a whipped cream connoisseur. It's like tiramisu cream. God damn. Look at that. Do you see that? Okay, that's it. This is a perfect place to come after a day out skiing, sightseeing, or whatever. Look at this. So cozy and relaxing. Good drinks, good food. I really want this for my house. The lobby is so cozy. With the fireplace, the chairs, the couches, it's amazing. And this hotel is so reasonably priced. So let's go look around on my last day here. God damn, that's pretty. Ooh. I love how everything is so alpine. All the wood, all the greenery, so fresh. Walking is the easiest way to get around and the best way to experience this magical place. There are hiking trails for everyone from beginners to extremists. Chamonix is right where Italy, France, and Switzerland meet. It's only an hour from Geneva, Switzerland, so it's very easy to get to by train or bus or car. Everywhere you look, you are surrounded by those beautiful mountain peaks. I always love to walk around and find cool new places. This time, I found this awesome hot dog place called Cool Cat. This is my kind of spot for lunch. And they even have cozy blankets and heaters. Everything they serve here is all natural and local, even the beer and the soda. So I'm gonna try this local beer. 
Not a big beer person, but I thought I'd try it. It's good. I don't think I've had a beer in at least a year. At least. Cheers. The sun came out, so it went up to a whopping 37 degrees. Ooh. Okay, this is not really keto. But I got the chili cheese fries with jalapenos and a hot dog with mustard and onions. And that's a local pork sausage. These are cheese fries with jalapeno. Mm. Yummy. This pork sausage dog is incredible. Homemade mustard and everything. So good. So when you come here, make sure you stop by Cool Cat. They have a great artisanal hot dog. Yummy. There's something beautiful everywhere you look. And of course, for the tourists with no sense of adventure, there's a McDonald's. I've been to this region before, which is the Savoy, to Annecy. It's only about an hour by train or car. And you can go there as a day trip, or you can come here from Annecy as a day trip. And if you want to check out my Annecy video, click in the upper right corner. That is just crazy. So beautiful. Look how tiny this thing is. This is one of the things I just love about France. And then look at those roasting chickens in the window. There were some beautiful dogs, which I always love to see. And what would a trip to the Alps be without seeing a real St. Bernard rescue dog, complete with a little barrel of rum on his collar? So tonight, we are going to Josephine, which is a famous restaurant here in Chamonix. And I'm super excited to try it. I'm gonna get, I know one thing I'm getting is the oysters. Look at this. Fresh from the Mediterranean Sea. So let's go inside. I ordered the pasta with the local ham and a poached egg on top. It was so delicious, you guys. I was starving, so I literally inhaled. And we also got the tartiflette, which is the regional dish, which is like a gratin potatoes and sausage and bacon. And it is unbelievable. But the salad is the best thing on the table. Fantastic. Okay, so we're out of here. My last look at the mountains before I head to Barcelona. Look how beautiful that is. If you're looking for an amazing place to come, Chamonix is breathtaking. I absolutely love it. And it's not outrageously expensive and it's very cozy. And stay here at Hotel Priore. It is gorgeous. Website's right on the screen. Au revoir. The ride back to Geneva was beautiful. The mountains always in the backdrop with beautiful villages and bridges. Travel speaks to me. It teaches me tolerance and appreciation for new people and ways of life. And we only get one life, so shouldn't it be as much about new adventures as possible? Or what kind of life is it? Au revoir. Here's a couple videos that I know you're gonna love. Click this one to subscribe to my channel. Hit the like button and leave me a comment. I'll see you next time.